we will get it back up as soon as we can. Ward puts up a three and strings it from downtown. Tom Ward, that's what he does best. He, he will spend most of the game running corner to corner. And as soon as you fall asleep, that's going to happen. Worthing leads seven to three as Blaine <laughs> Freckleton answers back from downtown. Freckleton straight away for three. Back to back threes for Blaine Freckleton. Beard passes it out to Dixon in the corner. Dixon puts in a long two. Taylor, Taylor for an NBA range three <laughs> and he puts it in. Shot clock down to four. Taylor puts up a three over Bonner and strings it. Freckleton. Freckleton step back jumper and that's good. That's a three pointer for Blaine Freckleton. Putting the moves on Abdul Manning from the foul line is good on the buzzer. That was a tough shot. Very one tough, Manning very tough. It was over it. Tom Ward. And that ends the first period. Worthing Thunder hold a 23 to 20 lead over the Thames Valley Cavaliers. I think refs also stayed relatively close. So yeah, we did we did have the same, I think four refs only across the majority of our games for, well, home games anyway. Tom Ward from the corner. Mm. That's a huge achievement as well. Absolutely, and that was you know, great to see as Dixon puts in the floater and a timeout is called by Coach Banks. Yeah, absolutely great to see Ward. Abdul puts up a three and knocks down a three. Hafiz Abdul from downtown. Finds Freckleton. Freckleton answers in kind. Doesn't for the need Cavaliers. much room at all. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that a lot now. Okay. <laughs> so I'm in the corner and doesn't need much room at all. And Shake Sheriff with the miss two. Here is Taylor going all the way. Oh, nice. Veteran move from Zaya Taylor. Still got some bounce in those, uh, in those old legs. Although, I don't know about this transition defense. Maybe. Uh... Finds Abdul. Abdul going all the way. Puts it in. Will it count? The foul, yes it does, the basket counts and a foul. And he's been proving that all weekend here in the Taylor Classic. No doubt we'll see that as the season progresses. Tom Ward intercepts the pass from Juan Manning and puts nice. in a two. And I could see as you were talking, getting a smile as legendary uh, photographer Graham Hodges snapped a picture of us both. As AJ Roberts starts go. the third quarter off with a bang. Three pointer for AJ Roberts. A hetero with the rebound, outlet pass to Roberts. Roberts on the spin, puts it in, and a foul. AJ Roberts, that's what he does best. Freckleton, eight on the shot clock. Saunders puts up a three and strings it from downtown. Roberts finds a little bit of room, high arcing shot, no good. Big rebound from Hetro, but Dixon comes up with it. Abdul. Abdul There's bumps his man and scores. There he goes, so again, the pace picking up for Worthing as soon as that damn beard sits down. Taylor finds Ward. Ward over Saunders, that's good. In the third, Taylor splits the D. Dixon for three, puts it in. Jared Dixon for three. Bonner. Turns the corner, puts it in, and a foul. Jacoby Bonner with such a quick turn of pace. You already tell as well, the intensity is starting to pick up just a little bit as well. Again, they're not treating it like it's a preseason game and going through the motions. These guys, these guys want to win. You know? Dixon for two, no good. Gets it back off oh, Sunderland and scores. Abdul. Abdul for three is good, rattles one in. Hafiz Abdul finds Fontaine. Abdul puts up a three and knocks it down. Big three for Hafiz Abdul. Fantastic game here on the Worthing Thunder YouTube channel. Tell your friends to tell a friend to get, on, get in and watch this game. A great ending in store. Jacoby Bonner for three is good. All rotations there. He's, he's the hot hand. I know. Again, if you've got if you've got Blaine, you've got AJ, and you've got Bonner all on the perimeter, and you're in scramble, it, it's it's probably going to end up in a score. Steal from again. Bonner, and Jacoby Bonner flushes it home, and the game is tied. Here is Abdul going strong to the hoop, gets it back, puts it in. Blaine Freckleton. On the floor, he wanted an offensive foul. 
again, ref, ref letting them play a little bit. I, I don't think it was square in the chest for Blaine. Trying to find some options. Had Abdul there over Now they're doubling. Three. Now they're doubling. Can they get the rotations? Ward nearly stolen by Freckleton. Sunderland, big shot for Jack Sunderland, and he makes it. At both ends of the floor, Josh Smith finds Roberts. Roberts back to Smith, puts up a three. Two on the shot clock, and he hits. Here is Taylor. Looking for Sunderland for three. There Sunderland puts it in. Jackie Moon from downtown. Taylor finds Ward. Ward pull up nice. jumper. Five on the shot clock. Tom Ward makes no mistake. Here is Dixon again. Dixon going eight. all the way. Easy layup for Jared Dixon. And the gap is eight. And here is Manning for three. There's one of them. He's been sat down for a while. That's very impressive. And straight away they trap Taylor. And nearly a steal there and a foul Ooh. called. <laughs> Jacoby Bonner straight up on his feet. Oh, Taylor dangerous. gives it up. Juan Manning has it. There's a skip available. Bonner. Bonner going inside with the layup is good. Gap is down to three. Ten seconds left. Of course, Worthing defeated Thames Valley last season in the playoff quarterfinals, looking set to achieve it again here today. What a game we have had here on the Worthing Thunder YouTube channel. A hetero, or um, excuse me, Bonner puts in a three. Go. Jacoby Bonner from downtown, it's not over yet. That's the three that they wanted. Mm -hmm. TVC either at this point. And Hafiz Abdul makes them both. Gap is four. Blaine Freckleton with the three, no good. It and is. that ends a really exciting encounter here at the Worthing Leisure Centre. Worthing Thunder fans on their feet cheering. That's what it means to them. That's what it means to the community. You know, getting back to winning ways in front of their home fans. Worthing Thunder defeating the Thames Valley Cavaliers. 92-88 in what was an absolutely mm -hmm. enthralling encounter. What are your thoughts, if, Brendan? Well, if, it's how, if, if this is how we're starting the season, I'm looking forward to the season. Absolutely. And uh, you're coming <laughs> here next week. <laughs> I know. <laughs>